Hello again. This is day seven of seven things everybody needs to know about Jesus. My name is Steve Johnson. I'm here in Mombasa, Kenya on a mission trip. God bless you for tuning in once again. Um, I've mentioned six of other things that Jesus is the Christ, the one given authority and power by God to do humanly impossible things. Uh, he's died on the cross for our sin. He's risen from the dead. He invites us into fellowship with him. That's number four. He's judge of the living and dead. That's number five. And yesterday we looked at a few prophecies that prove that Jesus is who he says he is. And now the final all important one. Um, what must I do to be saved? The Bible says whoever calls upon the name of Jesus will be saved. So what do you do? Do you join a church? Do you try to keep the law? Do you engage in certain rituals? What is it do you need to do that you need to do to have eternal life? And the Bible says believe. You put your trust in Jesus to follow him. Now, simple faith. Now, that's not hard. That's a simple step uh, of believing in Jesus. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. And that's amazing. The religion sets up a series of rules, but the Bible sets up faith. Simple faith in Jesus. Now, someone may ask, well, if you have simple faith in Jesus, will you just have faith in Jesus and carry on sinning? I would say if you think you're just going to carry on sinning when you have faith, then you didn't really have faith in the first place. Now, we all know as Christians, we're human, we're imperfect, we're, we, we may sin occasionally, we, we stumble, but God is good and God is gracious and God is merciful and he upholds us. Um, when someone comes to genuine faith, they're not asking the question, oh, can I follow Jesus and still sin? That's usually evidence they haven't really got it. And so faith in Jesus is trust in him. It's different to just believing. I believe that Theresa May is a prime minister of England. Do I trust her? slightly different question we're not asking people to say do you believe that Jesus exists we're asking for more than that we're asking for a person to make a choice to trust him whoever calls upon his name to be saved will be saved it's actually that simple a person puts their trust in Jesus as the Christ as Savior from the sin and Lord they put their trust in him repenting of their sin they will be saved and he takes you at face value of that he looks at your heart he sees the sincerity of your heart and he responds to a simple prayer of faith so that's number seven what does it take to be saved? You call upon the name of the Lord and you will be saved. And so there's seven things everyone needs to know about Jesus. We're having a, a mission trip here in Mombasa, Kenya. We're about to start um, uh, a three-day open-air gospel crusade. We're going to be preaching this same gospel, these same seven things to people here in Mombasa. People are desperately in need of hope and Jesus is the hope of the world. God bless you for listening. I'm going to be back with some more videos. Hope you tune in soon. God bless you. Shalom from Mombasa. Kenya.